Pragyan has begun exploring the lunar surface. So the rover is out and, and we have uh, some images of uh, Vikram beaming Pragyan images live to the ISRO headquarters. The rover slowly coming out. And Dr. Ghosh, you want to explain, as, as Raj Chengappa was saying, it's a slow moving rover. You know, this is not a cinematic adventure. This is real science and therefore the rover will also take its own time. Tell us what, you know, what exactly happens now? Okay, it, it comes down mm -hmm. and it, firstly, its solar panel opens up and it has got to get the energy. Mm -hmm. Up to now, it was going to work on the battery which is there. Mm -hmm. That's a 50 uh, watt solar panel. Mm -hmm. And then it starts its actual experiments. It's basically got two payloads. That is the APXS, which is the alpha particle spectrometer. And the other is the LIPS, which is uh, the labor-induced breakdown spectrometer. So it's going to take the regolith and break it down and find out in the sense that what, is, what are the minerals that are there. And the maximum distance it can go to is about 500 meters from the lander, mm -hmm. no further. Mm -hmm. And it operates, as you know, only for 14 days. After that, when the night comes, mm -hmm. it will not be able to operate. So within 14 days, it will do all its uh, experiments, send the data to the lander, mm. the lander to the orbiter, and then to ISRO for them to analyze. So in future, this is uh, the next few steps. Dr. Knight, is there something specific that you're looking at these next 14 days that you would like perhaps to find out more? You mentioned about the minerals uh, that are there on the moon. You've also mentioned about certain benefits that... That, that can come from technologies or uh, 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 what is it that you're looking for? Yeah, actually, uh, I expect uh, that even though we have got a short span of 14 days, our days, uh, you know, uh, the potential is uh, going to be quite uh, uh, substantial. Mm -hmm. uh, the rover has got two payloads, just now I was mentioned. And uh, there are two functions. One is a geological mm -hmm. uh, analysis of the crust on the moon. And another one is the chemical elements. Mm -hmm. So in that, we will uh, expect to get a lot of information about the existence of the minerals there. In fact, one laser induced uh, uh, instrument is very interesting. It will vaporize the stone or whatever comes into its way and uh, uh, it, uh, instrument is there spectroscopy it will measure the wavelength and identify the minerals mm -hmm. and second thing which will identify the chemical composition mm -hmm. now these uh, two instruments are so uh, important mm -hmm. that uh, we might come across some new findings because uh, uh, always you know there are some surprise findings mm -hmm. in such kind of experiments because the scientific findings mm -hmm. have a long-term impact on the lander on the other hand we have got instruments to measure temperature mm -hmm. around the lander and then it will also try to find out information about the seismic activity on the moon mm -hmm. and it will also uh, try to see uh, really uh, what are the other uh, so, uh, the so essentially you what you are saying now is the discovery process, what you are saying get some you know, what you are saying dr nike is that the discovery of the moon has in a sense only just begun what we will know in the next 14 days is perhaps more than what we've known in a yeah. very long time because this will be first hand i'll come back to you dr marial borowitz at, at the nun school program in atlanta you know globally what would what would you like this mission to do in terms of future development what do you see happening now what would you like to see from the discovery of the south pole of the moon in a way for the first time well i'm really happy to see that already india has been so open and transparent about the way that this mission has proceeded and that it was possible for everyone to join in the excitement of watching the landing watching things as they're happening you know 
you never know what's going to happen. These missions are very hard. So I think it, it says a lot to, to have that transparency and have the whole world watching. Mm. Um, and I hope that that continues as they start to make these scientific discoveries, that that information is also very quickly and very broadly shared mm. um, so that the whole world can benefit from the information that uh, India collects and that what, what India learns from, from their rover on the moon. You know, what can India learn from this mission? What are the experiments that could take place? I want to go back to Dr. Annapurna uh, Subramaniam, astrophysicist. I want to understand from you, Doctor, what specific experiments are you looking to see? Uh, given the major achievement, what would you like to see now happening next? Yeah, so there are uh, several things which are being carried out right now, which are of fundamental nature, like, you know, how the uh, temperature is kind of transferred from a heated place to a non-heated place, you know, where the sun is lit, uh, heating up to a place where it is completely shadow. So some general properties are being measured, but as you can also see the scientific experiments when you design and develop and uh, put it on the moon, what happens is these are expensive experiments and you need to do extensive tests and the components have to be space qualified to be putting up and make sure that it works on the surface of the moon. But if you cannot uh, have a, you know, um, a guarantee that this uh, experiments will reach the surface and carry out, that you cannot actually perform, put, put these kind of things on the uh, rocket. So now you have the capability, now you can take complex things over there and put, do experiments. So there are experiments with respect to mineralogy, uh, uh, experiments with respect to the moon's uh, geology, like, you know, geo is with respect to Earth, but we have to uh, coin terms regarding how the evolution of the moon has been, studying the interior of the moon. And also, you, we, I mean, as an astronomer, mm -hmm. we would like to see something which you can put up a telescope on the moon where you can actually, night sky observations can be done, carried out without any, uh, you know, uh, uh, problem. So, any such stage, many such things can be carried out once you have demonstrated the capability to reach there safely and put up an experiment. You know, Raj Chengappa, the moon has been part of India's sort of culture, Correct, ethos. Yeah. You can go to our gods and Shiva and Ram Chandra. You know, the, the moon is part of, of, of the way we've seen culture. Now it's part of science, of course. What excites you the most? Out of all that you've just heard, you know, Lots of wisdom coming in of what can happen next. What excites you most now about the moon? You know, we are only planet A, like that's Earth. Yes. I think the moon gives you the opportunity, a lunar gateway to finding a planet B. And why, why do I say that? Because the, essentially we're searching for water on the moon. And that's why we're landing in the South Pole, where we know there's water ice. Once you have water, human beings can live. If the experiments that we're doing, the seismic activity, we, know, we want to know whether the surface is stable, we put up a colony or, over there. Right. Once you do that, you, the, the advantage with having a base on the moon is that you don't need these heavy lift uh, uh, you know, uh, launchers to take you there. Moon has no atmosphere. Uh, the gravity is one-sixth uh, that of Earth. You can put up, uh, go to, to Mars, as Dr. Kale was saying, with much greater ease, much less fuel, because you're not putting so much to b break uh, free of Earth's gravity. Mm -hmm. And that, I think, is the most exciting thing, that right now, we are, imagine, 50 years later, we are discovering the moon again. I mean, Americans went there, landed, brought tons of rocks, so did the Soviets, so did China recently with it. But what's very interesting is that there is a new race in the moon. The lunar race is there. India's very much part of that and there's very exciting times ahead.